we're back at the, the science cave and we're going to talk about convection in the mantle or really think about why plates move so we're going to look at convection convection and well, let's go back and look what convection is let's just say if we've got a uh, pot of water and I'll get a pot of water here. Here's our pot. And we've got some water in his thing. And we'll say that's the water. And we've got a flame on this side. So we've got a flame going here. So what's going to happen here? We know, go back to a little bit of convection and density, that this water here is going to this water here is going to heat up or get warm and if it gets warm we know it gains kinetic energy and the particles start moving around get more space in between them so therefore this warm water is going to rise the warm water is going to rise well this water over here over on the other side as we've talked about before. And let's see if I can get a different color here. This water over here is cooler. So this is cooler. Therefore it has greater density. Well, as this material is rising, something's got to replace it. And so what we have is the cooler water sinking because it has greater density. So we'll say this has higher density. Now, as the warm water rises from the heat source, as it rises, it also cools. It gives off its energy to the surrounding particles. And remember, energy is always transferred from areas of high energy to low energy. So as it cools, it gives off its energy to the surrounding particles and we get this what's it called really a nice convection current the warm water rises cools and this water has to replace it so this is a very nice convection current now if you remember convection currents is the transfer of energy in a liquid or a gas not a solid that's conduction but a liquid or a gas so the warm rises, cools, something's got to replace it, and the cooler water sinks, and you get this nice cycle going on here. Well, kind of the same thing happens in the Earth. We have the, the mantle here. It's a real viscous material, and it's got its heat source here. So what's happening, this material is rising and if it finds these you know mid-atlantic ridge the east pacific rise these diverging boundaries some of it can actually escape and get to the surface and create new crust well what happens as it rises we know it's going to cool and it starts to sink and really what it's doing is dragging this crust along with it now you gotta remember when you start getting up here you're almost like a spongy like material uh, it's very very viscous doesn't flow very easily so you're not talking uh, great speeds here you're talking anywhere from uh, a couple centimeters maybe nine centimeters per year depending on the plate so as this material rises it cools and it sinks but as it's sinking it drags the crust along with it and here we have our subduction boundary and as this sinks it starts to warm up and you start having convection currents well this happens equally on both sides rises pushes apart these divergent boundaries again a ridge uh, and as it rises to the top it's going to cool as it starts to sink it starts to drag the crust with it and here we have these 
convection currents occurring in the mantle. So we have convection convection in the mantle. Now this is this is a theory, but it's about the best theory that uh, is out there with scientists right now. Also, what plays into this as it cools, brings things down, you also have gravitational pull. So you do have some gravity involved here. But you have this constant warm material trying to get out, rising to the top, cools, starts to drag the crust along with it. And as it sinks, it warms up again, wants to get to the top. And again, you can see some other spots, you know, we can get volcanoes and so forth. Uh, Mid-Atlantic ridges, you now like I mentioned, these Pacific Rise, as it's pushing up, you get these nice areas on either side here that's pushing the crust apart. So anyways, that's today's uh, short video on uh, convection in the mantle. And really, it's, it's probably the best theory for the, the whole movement of plate tectonics.